Learners from Leicester College are on a visit to the National Space Centre as part of their induction. They're encouraged to explore the centre and are shown the Bridget Mars rover prototype by industry professionals to inspire them in their own project. How many wheels are you going to have? Eight. One. <laughs> One. Yes. Well, you laugh, but in fact there is, a, there is talk of developing a two-wheeled rover. The students are going to be given a brief for designing and building a Martian rover. I, I would suggest a minimum of, of three wheels and probably four is better, but make sure that the, the suspension gives you good contact, ground contact at all times if you can. We will be having somebody from a company called Astrium who actually are building a Martian rover at the moment. So they are coming also to give them some more background information about how they would build a Martian rover. A rover development doesn't have to be expensive, right? So this is just an ordinary camera lens. And this is what we do for initial prototypes. We just go the cheap route, which will give us the functionality. This is actually a drain pipe, right? We saw the Bridget prototype, and I did get quite a few tips from that. So I'm trying to use that into my uh, watch right now. And kind of give us a kind of like a blueprint or like a base ground on like what our Mars rover should look like and kind of like we could take a few things from it and kind of like incorporate it into our designs. And I think that was really helpful. Just to see the people who made the Mars rover was an experience as well. We have, over the last few years, developed a very strong relationship with the National Space Centre at Leicester, and this project helps us to encourage those links and bring a whole range of students into it and develop the involvement so that they can appreciate engineering in a broader context, but also enjoy it. I think a lot of them believe it's beyond them, but in fact, in the space industry, all these things have been produced by engineers, and they're, they, they're, they're no different. They started out the same uh, position as these students, but they just want to open their eyes and make them realise that they can work in the space industry, and there are jobs out there that they're capable of, of doing. Are you looking forward to bringing it back here and running it on the Mars yard here? Should have races. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think the interesting point for the for the learners was the fact that uh, they had a, a real live project. It was something real. It wasn't just making a buggy for the sake of it. It was making something for the a customer. We were the customer. It's a thrill working for the Space Centre, being like it's a big organisation in Europe, and my work, which has a possibility of being exhibited there, which is kind of gives me living like a bigger jolt to be actually in partnership with them, kind of making them a product. As I say, I'm looking really forward to you guys coming back in the summer term and with your Mars rovers and we're trying them in the Mars yard here at the Space Centre. So I really do wish you all luck.